What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Santee again with another motivational be video. Just let me get my lazy butt up for a minute. I just had to lay down for a second. But I'm about to get up. God willing, He's going to bless me with the power to get up. Oh, man. Good morning, you guys. And I see the sun, beautiful sun shining on me today. Well, I got a bone to pick with you guys around the world today, especially with your mothers and your fathers. Your fathers. Last night before I was going to bed, I was watching the news. And uh, they touched on a subject that really got under my skin yesterday. Little high school kids, not even finishing high school, is uh, purchasing Hello. pills and yeah. drugs and everything over social media. I'm telling you guys, pretty soon the drug, the drug trade is gonna overcome the world if we don't put a stop to it. And uh, the mothers and fathers, start early with your kids. If you don't know how to do it, you don't know how to come about it, just show them that you care. Let them know that you care. And if you got a good bond and a relationship with your kids, your kids will understand is that they would rather them be talked to about it than they have to experience it on their own. Some of the kids would rather experience it with their parents to see if they really like it or not. Nine times out of 10, they'll turn out not to like it because his parents trust enough to let them try it instead of letting them find out on their own. Same way with cigarettes or alcohol or uh, anything that you can buy over the counter right now. Like right now they're saying you can go to any high life store and buy stuff illegally, the fake weed and stuff like that. Well, none of that stuff is any good. None of it, it's just stuff that they put in it to where they make it legalized, to where they can sell it. But all of it is bad for your health. But to get back on this uh, subject about the kids is purchasing drugs over the internet. And it turns out not to be actually the drug that they trying to get. Well, let me tell you this one thing that's out there that's flooding America right now is them Xanaxes that's being pressed with fentanyl. I'm telling you, world, I'm telling you, YouTube, this fentanyl is killing, I mean, killing them, drop dead, killing them. A lot of our kids today, a lot of our people today, and it only takes a little bit. This shit is a whole lot stronger, 10 times stronger than heroin. Nine times out of 10, if you think you're buying heroin, you're buying fentanyl. It's this little white substance powder look Kind of like I would say China or heroin, but it's not, it's 10 times stronger, maybe 20 times stronger than heroin. And only one shot that'll kill you. Only one dose that will kill you. And there's not no numb coming back from it. A lot of, a lot of parents have lost their kids over it. A lot of family have lost a family member over it. I'm telling you guys, parents, talk to your kids about this stuff. Tell them one way that they shouldn't, they, they should try to walk away from it. They should do anything in their willpower not to try it. Try to find some way to help them to where they, if they ever get to introduce to it, they'll be able to say no to it. Taking my, taking from my experience, 
I had to learn the hard way. I never got that talk from my parents. I never got that talk from my brothers. All my brothers and sisters always gave me that reverse psychology stuff. Wherever you are, you're a man. You should be able to learn from your own. You should be able to make decisions on your own. I never got that talk about how drugs was and everything because nobody in my family was ever addicted to anything. And if they was able to addict it to anything, they had that strong mind power to where they can just pick it up and leave it and not be addicted to it. But me, I had that addicted personality. I had that addictive personality to whatever I touched, whatever I experienced. I wanted to take it to the max. Not the first level, not the second level, but to the third level. And that opiates was what I found that uh, yeah. I could like, that I could love. And I'm trying to tell you parents out there, and I'm trying to tell you your families out there, let your kids know. Talk to them. Pull them to the side. Take them away from what they're doing the most and just tell them. Once, start off with, I love you. Tell them how much you love them, how much you care about them. And the main thing is to, to trust in what you're saying it's for their own good. Because anytime you talk about drugs, it's for, their, it's for their own good. They hear you. They act like they don't hear you. But in the back of their mind, they hear you and they'll keep it. They'll keep it built in the back of their mind. Like, mom and dad told me about this drug. Mom and dad showed me about this drug. They told me what this drug would make me be like. How I would end up while I'm on this drug. And like I say, parents, family members, you didn't waste your time when you talked to them. It's like they said, them kids, they got their own ways of thinking about things. But everything that you say to them and you put in their head, you know, it's like, it's like you molding them into the man that you want to be or the woman that you want them to be. It's being put into them. Trust me, y'all. 100% of it. Maybe not 100%. Maybe I exaggerated. Maybe 60%. But it builds up to 80%. It takes 80 for them. It takes for them to experience it to get up to 80%. And then when they say no, then it starts being 99%. And that would make you feel good. When they come home and said, Daddy or Mama, I was exposed to something that I wasn't good for me today, and I told them no. That'll make you feel like you accomplished what you meant to do. But let's stop this stuff, y'all. Let's stop it. Let's nip it in the bud if we can. Stop it early. Don't wait too long. Don't wait. Till it might be too late to talk to your kids. Grab your kids right now. I don't care. I don't care if they're in the fifth grade or I don't care if they're in the tenth grade. I don't care if they're a senior in high school. Hell, I don't care if they're, they're a college member in college. They ain't too grown to be talked to about drugs now. They ain't. And please don't act like you're too good to talk to your kids. Just let them know. It'll save their life one day. It'll save them from a lot of trouble one day. Believe me. I wish I had someone to talk to. Or talk to me when I was young. I'm 45 years old now. Shit. I lost 20 years of my life over the dumb stuff. Over the stupid shit. Part of my friend. But listen, y'all, I encourage y'all. I'll give anything off my back. I'll give anything that I got to help y'all talk to y'all kids. Tell them about these drugs. Tell them about these social media. The social media ain't nothing. 
it. You can't get nothing off the internet. It's all fake. And tell them to leave the internet alone. Damn. <laughs> Take the phones away from them every now and again. But I tell my hat, I tell my hat to all your parents out there, all your mothers and fathers, aunts and uncles out there. And for all the first responders is out there during this uh, epidemic we got going on. I love you guys. Keep doing the best. Keep your head up. And please talk to your kids. Please. Please. Damn it. Do I have to say it again? I'll I break down and uh, beg like James Brown. Please. Talk to your kids. Keep it 100. And please, if you like, ring that bell, subscribe, and please help someone out. Help me out. I love you guys.